A question I'm often asked is why do I not lift? Why do I do only body weight strength training? Is it better to do that or is it better to lift? Uh, and the honest answer is it's most likely better to do both. There are some advantages to body weight strength training. There are some advantages to traditional resistance training. Uh, but personally, the reason four years ago when my son was born, I decided, hey, I'm gonna go all in on body weight strength training is because before when I was traditionally lifting, I had toyed with the idea of basically trying to get really good at body weight strength, you know, looking at one arm pull-ups and perfect handstand push-ups and nose to floor one arm push-ups and things like that. Um, my daughter's a high level gymnast. And so watching those kids condition and watching how amazing of athletes they are kind of would inspire me. Um, but then what would happen is I'd start adding a little bit of that stuff. And it's really, really hard. Um, advanced progressions in body weight strength training are, are really, really difficult. And so I wasn't used to sucking, right? So I, I sucked and um, I wouldn't do well. And so I would just fall back on loading the bar and traditional lifting. And so this time around, what I decided is, okay, in the past, I had given it half effort because when I would go into it, I always had that fallback crutch. Hey, this, this leg workout's not feeling the best. Let me just jump under a squat rep um, or whatever the case is. This time around, I decided if I want to master something, um, I need to devote myself 100% to it in order to attain some type of mastery. Not, not that you're ever really gonna master anything, but um, proficiency, I should say. So in order to become proficient at it, I knew I needed to remove my, the temptation or my desire to just, you know, supplicate it with heavy weight and, and, and get an awesome workout. So essentially it was a matter of, okay, how am I going to get the same workout I was getting before with, you know, loaded resistance without that, uh, and so looking all over YouTube, Googling everywhere, trying different programs, it, it forced me to really learn and apply those things and see what was working for me. What, you know, what progressions from whose program feel good or which ones can I do? Which ones can I not do? Why can't I do this? And one of the hardest ones was pistol squats. I looked at all these different resources and the progressions for pistols are really difficult for me. And I ended up having to modify um, what I gathered elsewhere. So... For me, the main reason to not still incorporate resistance training is to force me to get through sticking points without jumping back under a bar, to force me to figure out how to train you know, my posterior, how to get my glutes um, to where they need to be without utilizing a barbell, without utilizing you know, a loaded resistance like that. Um, so for me, that was pretty much why I stuck to specifically bodyweight strength training. Now for you, um, what you're going to have to decide is, <clears throat> do I want to go to a traditional gym where I have all this equipment and I can use that stuff, or do I just want to train at home in the backyard, at the park, whatever the case is? Um, so, so that's the biggest differentiator. If you want to go drive to a traditional gym, um, then you can incorporate body weight strength training and traditional resistance training. Like that's going to be the most efficient. So I'm not going to tell you you shouldn't lift. Um, I tell almost everybody, hey, combining the two is going to be the fastest route, the most efficient training that you can possibly do. With that being said, I've got kids, I work from home, so I love being able to train at my house or being able to train anywhere. And I like the minimalist idea that I can get all of the workout that I need by scaling body weight strength movements um, to make them brutally hard to where I'm never going to have to rely on anything else other than myself. Um, you know, maybe that doesn't appeal to everybody, but it does to me. And so that's where I'm at right now. That's where I've been for the last four years. At some point, yeah, I might start deadlifting again. At some point, I might bring some weights back in. But I'm not going to do those things until I've mastered the, the progressions body weight strength wise um, to, the, to the master exercises, I guess you could call them, that I want to do. So that being like an iron cross, right? I don't have an iron cross yet. Um, so I definitely want to be able to do that. Um, I want to be able to do a one arm handstand push up. So I don't even know if I'll ever be able to do that, but that's a goal that I would like to do. Um, so there's some stuff like that that I want to be able to do prior to reintroducing any weighted resistance training. And so that's personally why I'm at where I'm at. Uh, and that's kind of what you've got to think about for whether or not you should weight train or just do body weight strength training. Um, portability, you know, what appeals to you, what calls to you. Uh, for me, the calisthenics, the progressive style um, calisthenics are, are fun because you're always working towards something different. You're not doing, you're not bench pressing for 20 years, right? You're working from a traditional push-up to a harder progression of a push-up to a harder progression of a push-up to a one-arm push-up. 
And from there, you're doing incline one-arm push-ups. Hopefully one day to a one-arm handstand push-up. Um, so I like the idea that it's always changing and evolving and there's always something new on the horizon versus the same thing with just additional weight on it. So one style is not better than the other style. They both have unique um, pros and cons and you kind of have to weigh that out and see what you feel um, appeals to you.